Today we talk backup. What's up people, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we're gonna talk all about backup and I'm gonna give you five things that you should be backing up no matter what, especially if you do weddings. Hey guys, it's been like 30, 40 videos since the last time I said it. So I'm just gonna throw it out there. If you could hit the like button down there for the algorithms, it'll really help me out. And if you don't subscribe, hit the subscribe button, it's worth it. But anyway, let's get into these tips, let's get into these nuggets, let's get to these things that we should be backing up, shall we? The first thing is your clothes, or your drip, as the young kids say, huh? <laughs> And not just clothes, I'm talking belt, shoes. There's a million situations where you may need a backup of all of these things. Let's go down the list here. The first and most obvious is pants. Digital Dave told me a story a couple months back when I interviewed him that like he forgot his pants one time at a wedding, had to DJ with these ugly ass shorts on and all that because they just slipped off the hanger and he didn't even notice it until he got all the way to the wedding that was really, really far away. Or let's say you gained a couple pounds over the quarantine, right? You had a little too many bud regulars, not lights. <laughs> you ate a little more pizza than you should have and you happened to bend down a little awkward and then rip your whole pants rip and you're at a wedding. What do you do? Well, you have a backup pair of pants to use in these situations. Now my backup pair isn't great, it's a pair of gray dress slacks I just keep in my car that are wrinkled and I don't ever wanna use them, but worst case, if you can see my whole asshole, it's better to wear my wrinkled gray backup pants than that, right? Now when it comes to belts, I highly recommend you keep a black or a brown backup somewhere because that's a very big thing that everyone forgets. Santi forgot his the other day, I forget mine all the damn time, and you don't want your pants falling down and you know, it, it completes the outfit, right? You need a belt, so black and brown, goes with everything, you're good to go. Now some people might think backup shoes is a little extreme, but there's a lot of situations also where you might need them. Like if you forgot them, or let's say it's a very muddy environment, right? Let's say it's just a shit show, the wedding's outside, but then the reception's inside, and you don't wanna go inside with muddy ass shoes and do your introductions looking like shit. Well, you can wear your backup shoes where it's all rough outside, and then put on the nice regular shoes for the intros, for the actual reception, and still look pristine. Now number two is wires. Have a backup for every single wire you carry. Now the most common ones to go bad that you definitely should have multiple backups are are your XLRs, the Apple chargers, they're known to go bad. Typically, like with Apple chargers, just so you know, they typically last just as long as a Windows computer. <laughs> So around like a year and a half to two years, just so you know. So like have a backup ready. But I even have backups for my power cables, like, like the power AC like block outlet that goes to my external mixer. I got two of them. Just in case, if that goes out, I'm fucked. Like, you know what I mean? I'm gonna have to run everything direct. It'll be a pain in the ass. I would rather just have a backup of that and be good to go. You never know what's gonna go bad when. Trust me, you just never know. Have one of everything. It gives you the peace of mind. Now, number three is microphones. And there's a couple different layers to this, right? So number one, I highly recommend you use two microphones because one is the backup to the other, right? If a microphone gets dropped in a toast or anything happens in general and you have one broken wireless mic, you'll have a second and you're good to go and you can get the wedding done, right? But in addition to the two wireless microphones in your setup, you should also have a wired backup. I have a Beta 58 wired mic. I think it's like 150 bucks, but it sounds good. I'm a fan of that head. I have the same Beta 58 on all my Shure mics, right? So I'm a big fan of that. So it's essentially the same mic, only it's a wired mic. And I keep a 50 foot XLR cable always. I actually have a ton of them, but like at least have one big 50 foot XLR cable in general. And that way you can go out there and worst case scenario, right you got to go out there with a wired mic because both of your wireless mics blew up or they're getting interference or something crazy has happened you're gonna look like Bob Barker hosting prices right but you're gonna get the job done and you're gonna be good to go you don't want to be stuck without any any microphone and I almost did just last weekend so story time I set up at this venue I turn on my mics I go to scan my mics and it says zero channels available I'm like what and just so you know, I use Shure SLXD microphones. They're expensive, they're solid. They're not the QLX, I opted for the SLX. They're very similar, like they're, they're, they're so similar. It just, to me, it didn't justify the extra price, so I just went SLX. Anyway, I have good mics. I don't have shitty mics, okay? I scanned them for the first time ever. It said zero channels available. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? 
What could this be, right? I look around, I figure out what it is. There's two wireless dongles uh, for their lights, the actual venue built-in shitty ass up lights that they had. They had two wireless dongles that happen to be on my band, which is like, the, the chances are astronomical. And my mics still work, don't get me wrong. Like I, I scanned them like five times, I finally got a signal, and they worked fine, but when my microphones were off, I still had like, you know, it gives you like a cell phone bar. I had one or two bars up when my microphones were off, meaning that like the wireless dongles that they were using to control Control their shitty ass lights at the venue, you know, were on my shit, you know, and I didn't want to take a risk, so I ended up just turning off all their lights and saying, whoops, sorry, they're broken. <laughs> <laughs> they were so mad at me. But anyway, that's besides the point. I ran into this issue, and if I wasn't able to figure out what it was, right, if the wireless dongles weren't right next to my setup and I couldn't just figure it out like that, I would have been in trouble, and 50-50, if I went out there and I started going uh, 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 and cutting out like crazy in the middle of intros or toasts were having a problem, I had my wired mic with a 50-foot cord ready to go. It ain't pretty, but I was gonna get the job done regardless. So buy one, keep it in your bag. Number four is a backup laptop and a backup for your music. This is extremely important. I'm sure this video isn't the first time of you hearing of this backup. It's super obvious. Computers can die, even Max. <laughs> And <laughs> Windows people hate me. And seriously, you, you just want to have a backup of it just in case. And the same thing goes for your music. So I keep my music on my actual Mac, like on the hard drive. So if my Mac died, my music dies with it. So I have a separate hard drive, like an external hard drive that has all my music on there. It's literally mirrored. And I have a backup Mac so I can just plug it in because like my backup Mac is, doesn't have a big enough hard drive for all my music, you know? So however you set it up, if you have hard drives, have backup the hard drives, just have everything ready. Have a second whole computer, music system of some sort ready to go that's exactly mirrored to your other one so if this happens if the world ends and your shit just blows up you could slap your backup laptop down and the party continues and my fifth and final backup that every single dj should have is a backup for themselves you know what that is people it's an assistant that's what that is an assistant is the ultimate backup we're not all spring chickens okay some of us are getting up there in age, some of us might not be in the greatest shape. What if you go out at a wedding? Hmm? What if that is your time? So let's hear it for the new Mr. Mip. Boom, and that's it. What if that's your time? You just drop right there. What backup do you have? Huh? Do you have an assistant? They can finish the wedding. They can do a little moment of silence for you on the dance floor. Carry your ass out and keep it moving and the dance set continues. The reception continues. You don't want to ruin an entire wedding on account of you had the audacity to die there. Hmm? Think about that. That is the ultimate backup. If I go out at one of my weddings, Santi takes over and the party moves on. Like, talk about clutch. You don't want to go out and simultaneously ruin your legacy, right? You want to go out and be like, yo, he also even had a backup for himself and they crushed the wedding in honor of him. Like, that is just, that's some boss ass shit. So if you're gonna go out at a wedding, make sure you go out like a boss and bring a damn assistant every time. If you need more reasons to bring an assistant other than just to back you up in case you die, watch the video up here and you will be convinced, trust me. So hear me out DJs, those five things are crucial. Every wedding is the Super Bowl. You have to have every backup situation covered no matter what. Don't forget it, invest the money. Trust me, the stress and the bullshit that can come from something going out that you don't have backed up is like insane. Like it's insane, it is well worth any money it would cost you to back all this stuff up. It's a great investment and you will thank me later. Trust me, trust me, trust me. But that's it people, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you at the next one.